Welcome back to the Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from MTR. He did a really nice compilation of a couple clips and then it ended with a Passport Bro clip, which I really enjoyed. So please like subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, let's get to that Chow. It's Chow Time. Don't stink sometimes. It is what it is. What? what? I am so glad you said that because I was sitting here and I was like, <laughs> the f- <laughs> my God, it is a sickness. sickness. Would one of y'all shave your head to win whatever's in this mystery box? Uh, uh, what's in there, bro? I can't tell you, but it might be something good. Might be a McChicken. It might be, I don't know. <laughs> it might be a McChicken. Oh, yeah. Let, let's go. Let's do it. You're down? Yeah, I'm down. Let's Fuck go. Yeah, let's let's do get it. it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, I think you're looking good. Looks good. Let's get it. You ready to open it? Yeah, let's do it. it. Alright, open it up. Oh. Are you Damn. serious? Are you like I shaved my head for that? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> quarter. Are you sorry. serious? That's how it goes though. I mean you had a shot. It looks dope though. I don't care. I this is what people are willing to do for money or potential money nowadays. Instead of, uh, no, I have some dignity. I'm not going to shave my head for whatever mystery shit this is. No, a chance of winning money? Maybe I'll win some money. Yeah, I'm willing to humiliate myself on camera. I wanted my hair. I wanted money, not a quarter, bro. I'm sorry. Damn, that's... Dear future husband, I require a man of God. <laughs> I require good morning text. <laughs> I require flowers. I require date nights. I require time. I require respect. I require loyalty. I require love. I require affection. I require reassurance. I require all these things, yes. For those that's been following me, I have been on a spiritual journey and I have been, you know, getting closer to God and I've committed my life fully to him. So let me get this straight. <laughs> hey, listen, I love to hear that people are changing their lives for the better. But I find it so incredible that these women that insist on banging the wall at 304 miles per hour have the same exact story. It's like yeah. a moment of epiphany. Now you have all of these requirements from men. When you've given your youth, your beauty, and all of them viscous innards, to the streets. This is legitimately like trying to sell a totaled car higher than the price than when the car was new. But hey, if talking about what you now require of men online in lieu of talking about the potential value that you can provide works for you, then kudos to you. How would you feel about a 40 year old guy dating a 19 year old chick? I think it's wrong, no. I think <sighs> the 40 year old should accept responsibility and understand that that is completely not okay. Uh -huh. And it's not, she's a full grown adult, but I don't think it's okay. No, I don't. But it's okay for a woman to sell herself on OnlyFans at 18 and get railed on camera for money, but not enter a cons consensual relationship. So this is where I just kind of lean on my faith. Sorry, hot take, but what? my faith, no, I don't think it's ever worth putting yourself out there to the internet. I do not believe in that, but that's a personal thing. You do you, make your money. But no, I think I think they're both wrong. I would like to yeah. chime in and yeah, just let y'all know, I made more money from my sugar daddy than Absolutely. I did from my full-time job oh, that I have a college degree for. Oh, respectfully. No, same. No, me as well. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Same. So, so I did the same thing, but I will say that my experience as a 24-year-old having a sugar daddy and a 19-year-old having a sugar daddy were very, very different. What? And I think that I made better decisions as a 24 year old than I did as a 19 year old. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> so the 40 year old should accept responsibility and know that it's not okay. But yet it is okay that not only women in general, but you specifically have a sugar daddy. Mm -hmm. I swear for God, you cannot make this shit up. The hypocrisy of the modern woman today is steeped in when it benefits them. Because when it benefits them, it's go girl, live in your truth. But when it yeah, doesn't, queen. then they think that it's wrong. Then men should face some consequences. I think the 40-year-old should accept responsibility and understand that that is completely not okay. 
and I've noticed the same exact type of rationalization when it comes to women wanting high value men to be monogamous. But meanwhile, when you were of your highest value, you did this with your body. It is often said life isn't fair. Who is more likely to be expected to accept injustice, men or women? Um, women. Mm. If it's okay. not men, why do we okay. have the expression, take it like a man? <laughs> You're good. <laughs> um, because men are supposed to have this strong front, you know? So Does a man have the right to define what a woman is? Absolutely not. So then what gives women the right to define what a man is? We don't. But didn't you just say a man's supposed to be this and a man's supposed to be that? I supposed to. Yeah. Oh, is that man, not defining so what a man he's is? He's so good. Well, somewhat, but not just clear like okay. that. But guess what, though? You know what else? What? What's up? We just got caught. Caught what? Oh shit, let's go. Okay, let's go. 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 They're not friends. They're with me. Don't worry about it. Don't worry you about cheater. it. You cheater. You over here kissing oh other God. people? Oh Get off the car, bro. What the f*** are you doing? I can't You just kissed them. I can't them. bro. Get oh, all your shit in my car. Your damn shorts. All your shit. Don't come back. Why would you do this? Don't why? come back. Babe, that was for a whole script. You f*** that. That's for a whole script. No, it was not. I can't, I can't do I'm this. done with you, man. Get out. That was for a whole script. Get the bro. All that f time wasted. Yeah, okay. All right. Whatever. Oh my god. Should we? Should we maybe call her an Uber or something? This fucking sound. Uh, do you think she knows where she's she walked at? away herself, oh, man? Home for, I like her, man. <laughs> what the fuck? I feel like the women in the United States are kind of like tarnished goods. And I want you to watch this video, okay? This is exactly what I'm talking about. No one said that women are tarnished goods. Nope. If you actually look at a passport bro, which I know many of them, they are not going over there to grape and conquer. Nope. They are going over there because they are giving up over here. Mm -hmm. The reality is, is that there are too many women that are saying that they don't need men. Men want exactly. to be needed. They want to feel valued like they are protectors, like they are alphas, like like we need them the problem is that too many women are saying i don't need a man i too say i don't need a man i find it so interesting that even though she understands a component of the problem she's still down with the bullshit you understand yeah. me <laughs> it's just the programming is that strong it is the dogma is that strong she still says it even though she understands it Damn. This is why it's hard to blame women, I think. You know, like, I know um, we like to, like, make fun and stuff all the time, but a lot of people really think it's women's fault. It's all their fault. It's their fault. No, it's when given the freedom to do what they want, most people would choose the easiest way out majority of the time. It's just women happen to choose those things, and it's, like, kind of, looked upon in society to do yeah go do those easy ways out so it's it's not that they choose these things I'm saying, society kind of pushes it for them too so just, i think we can do our best to just try to maybe you know you know the pendulum's swinging back you know like so as long as we keep pushing the other way more and more women i think are going to change so i want a man they do things better and faster. Like I laid down flooring for my Airbnb. I have like tiny hands. All of these were broken. Uh, there were there were like warped areas. Thank God my dad came and he helped me. But nonetheless, if I don't say I need a man, if I don't say I want a man, they don't feel valued. Just like when women were screaming and saying, this man's not saying that he appreciates me and I'm doing all the cooking and the cleaning and I'm working full time and I'm taking care of the kids. 
Every healthy relationship should be predicated off of reciprocity. So if you've been telling the men of today that they aren't needed or that they serve no purpose, then guess what? They will leave that society and go to another where they are appreciated. This is supply and demand. This is economics 101. And the man saying, well, where's my dinner? Then the woman left, right? So what makes women think that the same tactic is going to work on the men? <laughs> The reality is women make up half of the workforce for sure, but we also spend a lot. So it's not like we're taking all of these trips like like they are. Yeah, it's not equal. More, none of the men ever say that they're damaged goods. What they consistently say is we're tired. <laughs> I knew one guy that was uh, we we're dating and he told me he opened the door for a woman and she said, I can get that myself. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm waiting for a guy to open my door, like for me, like a gentleman. Like that's what you're supposed to do as a date. But women, we're supposed to appreciate it. Also, if you go on a date with a guy and he pays for it, say thank you. It's like beside myself, not understanding how when I go on a date. It's basic manners, pleases and thank yous. I learned this when I was a kid watching Barney and all these Sesame Street things with a man and I say thank you they are overly thankful that I'm thanking them for taking me out to a dinner to get to know each other and when I ask them why it's because none of the women that they go on dates with actually say thank you my purpose in this is to defend the passport bros because they're not ra raping and pillaging and like doing anything crazy they just like everybody want a thinks. traditional woman which is why they don't want to bring them over here I think one of the biggest reasons that have led to the way that modern women today consider men is that because men over civilized the world and made it so easy to live on this planet that they really think that they can live here without men. And it's so steeped into our culture that even the young lady that understands like, this can't earlier. help but say it as well. I mean, just think about the difference of how you would treat yourself and people around you if you needed something from them versus wanting something from them. Those come from two different types of personality traits and or characteristics and how you would treat that said thing or how you would prepare yourself in life to get said thing. Mm -hmm. Questions, comments, concerns. Y'all already know what to do. Me over to Torres and Reviews at Gmail. That was actually a really good chow. Everything was pretty funny in the beginning and then that the woman defending passport bros, like she did a really good job. Like she really speaks with some men and understands <laughs> we're not just raping and pillaging and yeah, we I don't think very many like at least on my channel, we don't trash women. It's just they're not the ones we want. Most of them don't even want to be submissive or they don't want to do the things that you know us men want in relationships so please like subscribe down below i'd really appreciate that and let's catch you guys next time it's a child time.